The mihi anima stretera tole. Give me souls, take away the rest. Father Jan Po, SDB. We are now celebrating the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ into heaven. And today in our gospel, we'll be encountering the Great Commission taken from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 28, verse 16 to 20, wherein, bago umakyat ang Panginoon sa langit, ibinahagi niya ang misyon sa atin. God has already fulfilled His promise. Now it's our duty to continue and to remind one another this wonderful message that God has brought to us. God has fulfilled His promise. Now we have to do our part. Ang ganda po na sinabi ng ating Ibanghelyo sa dulong-dulo, I am with you always until the end of the age. Yung nagkasala po si Adan at si Eva, wherein they decided to separate themselves from God because the serpent, the devil tempted them, if you eat this, you will know what is right and what is wrong. No, you will make decision for yourself. The temptation of separating the will of God, the presence of God sa buhay natin because we want to do everything sa atin lang. But now, we were sep- because of that, we were separated from God. And that is the reason why the Lord decided to come because He wants to bring communion once again to us. Even though gano katindi ang ating kasalanan, God Himself is the one coming towards us. No, sinusuyo tayo, my, my son, my daughter, come because I am willing to be with you and give you all the graces and the guidance, everything that you need in your life. Ito po yung invitation ng ating Panginoon. Now, the Lord in our gospel is commissioning us to spread this wonderful reality that God is with us. No, ito po yung ipapaalala natin sa bawat isa na Araw-araw, minuminuto ng ating buhay, God is with us until the end of the age. Kasi ito po yung gusto sirain ng demonyo. Our union with God. He wants to separate God and man. Gusto niya tanggalin sa ating puso at isipan ang presensya ng ating Panginoon. mag tayo, gumawa tayo ng bagay ayon sa ating kanaisan lamang. At removing the presence and the will and the guidance of God. Therefore, this is the message of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, remind one another the presence of God into our life. Minsan marami o kadalasan nararamdaman natin that we are all alone, abandoned, ang daming problema sa buhay na parang gusto natin sumuko. In our society ngayon, no? depression is present because People feel that they are all alone. And this is the message of our Lord Jesus Christ as we celebrate this assumption. We are never alone because God is always with us. No, minsan feeling natin mag-isa tayo, inabandon tayo. Ang ganda po ng awiting footprints in the sands. Sometimes we feel that we are abandoned, but that is the moment wherein God is carrying us. Binubuha tayo ng Panginoon sa lahat ng paghihirap na ating pinagdadaanan. Hindi niya tatanggalin ang mga problema sa buhay. No? Part and parcel of our life is to undergo all these things. But the promise of God is not to remove all these things. But His promises, He will always be with us. At yan po ang dapat natin ilagay sa ating puso't isipan. No? That kung nafe-feel natin that we are all alone, remind ourselves, God is with me. And if God is with me, I will be able to fulfill these things in my life. This is the message of our celebration for today. The Lord is commissioning us to spread this wonderful reality. God is with us. Ito po yung ating hope. Ito po yung sinasabi sa ating first reading. The apostles and disciples were able to fulfill all their mission. Because they long, they hold on on this hope in their faith that God is with us. My dear friends, in our society, we're in God is being removed as disciples of Christ, believers of Christ. This is now the mission being given to us to remind ourselves, to remind our brothers and sisters that God is 
with us. And if God is with us, there's nothing to fear. Because with God, we have everything. Especially the strength for us to face all the trials, temptations, suffering in this world. As He was able to face all the sufferings in life for us. Now the Lord is telling us, I am here ready to journey with you. Never lose hope. Have faith. Put all your trust in the presence of God and you will see how you will be able to fulfill what is impossible and you will be able to do it possible because God is with us. So once again, my dear friends, the message of our Lord Jesus Christ, believe, have hope, have, have hope in your heart. No? Maniwala tayo na nasa atin ng Panginoon. And if we believe on this, we have to share it to our brothers and sisters that God is with us. Once again, my dear friends, God bless us all.